We've got to embrace the more difficult things. We do the pretty things really, really well. You guys understand that? Film is a good teacher outside of basketball. It really is. Hello Tiger fans, I'm Emily Dixon and welcome to this week's edition of Inside LSU Basketball presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. It was another eventful week in the PMAC with both the men's and women's teams getting wins over SEC rivals. From a 92 point game versus Arkansas to knocking off a top 10 team in overtime, this week brought some big moments for LSU basketball. After this quick timeout, we start things off with the voice of the Tigers, Chris Blair and head coach Will Wade, as they recap the Tigers' dominating win over the Arkansas Razorbacks. Inside LSU Basketball, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cuts, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, Official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics, Planet Fitness. Official gym partner of the LSU Tigers, Ross's Markets. Official supermarket of LSU Athletics, Coca-Cola. Official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers, People's Health. The official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Fans, welcome back into this week's show. Joined now with head coach Will Wade. Coach, you had a big meeting with Arkansas at home. You knew it was going to be one of those high-paced games. Both teams love to shoot the basketball. And while you've talked the last couple of weeks about getting more consistent defensive play, the start of that game, both offensively but certainly defensively, one of the best of the season. I know you liked it. You like up-tempo basketball, Chris. I know you enjoyed, enjoyed calling that. But, uh, no, our defense was, was much better, especially early on. Now, it got a, little bit, got a little bit haywire as it went on. But early on, we were locked in. We were focused. We had great energy, great pressure. Did a really, really nice job, I think, taking Arkansas out of what they wanted to do. And then our defense was able to lead to some offense. We were able to turn our defense into offense, turn some steals. Uh, really turn a lot of Arkansas's quick shots. They took a lot of quick threes against us, which were decent looks, but anytime you take those quick threes, it's all or nothing. And then we were able to get those defensive rebounds and get out and run. So I was really pleased with how our guys prepared for Arkansas, how focused we were, how locked in we were, and then that we were able to extend that and get that into the game. Uh, we're getting closer to a full 40-minute <laughs> game. We're not quite there yet. We still got some uh, pieces in the in the middle of the game where we're, we're probably not as uh, as sharp as we need to be. We're definitely not as sharp as we need to be. Need to be. But I thought we took a big big step forward against a, a very very good Arkansas team. Like you said, a powerful high scoring team. And their defensive numbers were really good coming into the game as well. You know, one of the things I think stands out about this team. You've got some great individual players, but I think they complement each other so well and you've talked about it including after the game at Arkansas even if one of the stars per se doesn't have the big game they still impact the game and the other guys seem to realize all right my time to take the ball to the rim yeah it was a huge you know two two very underrated plays in that Arkansas game speak to what you're talking about Monty Wilkinson hit his first three of the season he's a good I mean you look at you know the NBA what they use to predict whether you're going to be a good shooter or not your free throw percentage and you look at him, Wani's free throw percentage, it's, it's tremendous. And he is a very good three-point shooter. And we knew Arkansas wasn't going to guard him, but he stepped up and knocked that in. You talk about some of our, um, you know, some of our, our ancillary parts making big plays. That was a huge, huge play for us. He ended up with 11 points in that game, uh, you know, a career high in SEC play. He did a tremendous, tremendous job. Then Andre Hyatt hitting that three as well when they were running off and doubling off of Andre and doubling off of him. Him being able to step up and knock in that corner three, those were two huge underrated plays. And um, like you said, we've got the we got those four horsemen that that uh, that bring it just about every night. But we've got unbelievable um, players around them and very good players. You got Josh LeBlanc, you got Eric Gaines, you got Jalen Cook. We've got very very good players, all guys that are um, you know capable of going for double digits any night as well. One of the better performances of the season for the Tigers at home. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. LSU and Arkansas. 
by Watford right side. Trendon goes in, spins, goes up and under his defender, puts it off the glass. Count the bucket. Thomas goes in. One-handed floater off the back heel, rolls back through the net. 16.41 to go. First half, Watford driving right wing. Now dribbles to his left, gets into the lane, high off the glass. Count the bucket. Wilkinson, right corner three. Good. Nobody came out to defend. On the left side, Moody. A little give and go, trying to give it to Vanover. Bad pass picked up by Darius Days. Here's Smart running the floor. Layup takes it all the way to the hole. Pass. Wilkinson throws across the floor, but Cam Thomas uses his speed. Comes up and catches it before it goes out of bounds or in the backcourt. Days with a three ball left of the arc and Darius Day. Smart. Cross court pass high, open for three, right corner, bounces on the right side of the rim. Court, you're smart again, right down the lane, off the window, count the bucket, and a foul. Gaines gives it off, left side, rattling the rim, Josh LeBlanc. Here comes LSU, Thomas, three ball, right wing, off the left side of the rim, no good. Rebound underneath, weak side, put up by Andre Hyatt. LSU again pushing it up. Thomas, crossover, Euro step, throws up the floater in the lane, count the bucket, it's 34 to 11. LSU back in business, Thomas, deep three, bullseye, left to the arc, and it's 39-13. Thomas, down the lane, off balance, off the window, won't go, follow, put up by Wilkinson, on the put back. Left side, handoff, Thomas. Thomas driving down the right lane, throws it high off the glass, no good. Days offensive wow. rebound, soft touch with the putback. Get it to Watford, nobody comes out, he'll launch a three, around the rim, no good. There's Darius Days again, picks up the change and cashes it in. Watford wants to drive, spins on the dribble, in the lane, puts up a shot and good. Gets into the left corner, now sends it back up top, Thomas. Thomas driving in the lane, gets open for the jumper, it's good ball. Here's LSU beating everybody down the floor is Eric Gaines. Big time jam, hammers it down. Smart in the front court, 722. Step back three, right wing is good. Thomas, lob, Wilkinson right side, hammers it down. And the Tigers win tonight at home to remain unbeaten inside the Merriman Center. After the Tigers picked up the big win on Wednesday night over Arkansas, they continue on their three-game homestand Saturday night, taking on the South Carolina Gamecocks. Here come the Tigers. Pass to Thomas. Thomas fakes the pass, drives down the lane, and dunks it down. Tigers work it around the horn. They get it to Hyatt. High entry post. They get it to mm. LeBlanc on the baseline. He'll rattle the rim from the right side. Still down 45-37. Javante Smart brings it across. Step back three. Left of the arc. Bullseye. Now a steal by Smart at the timeline. Look out. Lays it up and in. Watford long rebound out to Smart. He'll try it from dang near Port Allen. Puts it down. 48-45, three-point lead for the Gamecock. Thomas, right wing, three ball, good! Big time triple for the freshman, Cam Thomas. Alley-oop, Bryant misses on the one-handed, try to tap it in. Thomas throws down Watford by his lonesome, layup, good! 76-74, LSU leads. Manea in the backcourt, and we got a 10-second call. Trendon Watford smothering him up near side. Manea had nowhere to go, nowhere to pass, and the Tigers force a crucial turnover. Now works to his right against Lawson, goes in, off balance, off the window right side. Are you kidding me? Hey now, basket is good, make it 80. It was a big Thursday night for the Lady Tigers, knocking off a 12-0 Texas A&M team, grabbing the program's first win over a top-10 team this year. Coming up after the break, we go one-on-one -on -one with LSU women's basketball head coach Nikki Fargus to break down the upset over the Aggies. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer, forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Drive the 2020 F-150 with 5,500 cash back, only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer.
cake, mi amor. Mm -hmm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. To the people stepping up in the face of an unprecedented challenge, thank you for everything you're doing to serve our communities and keep us safe. To the people of Hancock Whitney, thanks for being the ones our clients can count on. Because even though it feels like everything has changed right now, it's reassuring to see that some things haven't. We'll get through this the same way we always do, together. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. Welcome back to Inside LSU Basketball. Join now with head coach Nikki Fargus. Thursday night, big win, number seven Texas A&M at home. Not only a win, but an overtime win. During that, sophomore Tierra Young, 20 points. What can you tell me about her performance and how she has grown as the season continues? Tierra is just getting better and better. As you saw the 20 point performance, we knew that she's capable of a lot of things. Um, but I like the fact that we can put the ball in her hand. She can be a playmaker. She can create for herself. She can create for her teammates. But it takes a lot of pressure off of Kayla Pointer. We're not having Kayla have to run the point all the time. Tierra can come in and do that for us. But she's also showing that she's uh, rebounding the basketball. She's in there mixing things up for us, just really having a balanced attack. And so I like Tierra's play right now. I do like her play coming off the bench. What it does is it allows her to kind of see the game, get a feel for it. And she's very comfortable in that role for us. And so the more, again, she continues to play, the better she's getting. So seniors, Carly C. and uh, Jalen Cherry, I love watching them come into the game. Every time they get in the game, something exciting is going to happen. They're just so disruptive on the court. They're getting steals. They're dying for loose balls. Uh, they're just creating havoc all over the court. So what can you speak on as far as their energy that they bring into the game and how they kind of just didn't let Texas A&M get into an offensive flow? Well, you hit it on the head. I mean, you've got to have players coming off the bench that will impact the game in a positive way. And what we're seeing is that when Cherry and Carly C are on the top of our press or on the top of our matchup, they're turning people over. They're, again, getting their hands on a lot of balls. So there comes the deflections, which leads to steals. You can see our energy picks up a lot. And Cherry is one of our best charge takers. And so she had a huge charge in the game against a and I thought that was a momentum play for us. And those are the things that we expect, but, all, but we also need from those two players. So seniors Kayla Pointer and also Faustina Fua, big time players make big time plays in big time games. And they did that all night, Thursday night against Texas a and uh, What can you speak on as far as their experience and how that played a role into them making those clutch shots down the, uh, down the stretch? I mean, you have Caleb Pointer banking in the three in overtime and then with the game ceiling uh, layup at the end. So what can you speak on about those two? Well, you can't say enough about Faustine and her growth. And she's one of the best post players in the country and in our league. I like the fact that we can run Kayla and Faustine in high ball screen action, and then you've got to figure out how to guard that because we're going to move your size away, we're going to move your shot blocker away, and then Foss is snap rolling to the rim. One of the play actions that we got late to send the game into overtime was a high ball screen. And Kayla Pointer is very crafty at breaking down the defender, but also knows when to distribute to Foss. And Faustine made a huge play for us. But their experience in this league 
they've gone against some of the best players in the country, you know, from an Asia Wilson who was at South Carolina or to a Kennedy Carter at a Texas A&M. So they understand that you've got to compete at a very high level, but you've got to have your best players, like you mentioned earlier, making the plays. And it's about playmakers. It's not really about the play. It's about who's making the play. And we came away with a win with players making plays. Awa Trossi, although she got in foul trouble, I thought she did a nice job of just being physical in there and having a presence. And you got to find her and you got to respect where she's at on the floor. But our senior class has really developed and they're going to conti continue to develop as we continue to play more and more games. Now, Coach, after the game last night, you gave a big shout out to your managers and scout team. Tell me how their preparation helped you guys get over that hump and uh, taking down number seven a and well, you know, we don't have a, a full roster as far as managers, what we typically um, would have due to COVID. And we've got managers that are making the sacrifice, if you will, just like our players are. They're staying in their close-knit bubble. They're testing just as much as we are. And they're doing the little things, whether it's rebounding, um, coming in here, playing dummy defense. Um, they're just being of service to our student athletes. And it takes a village, which we understand that, and it's a thankless job, but I always wanted to let them know that we thank them, that we appreciate them, and that we love them. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you preach you the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a Plumsky method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, right. Whenever the packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed, our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer, forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Drive the 2020 F-150 with 5,500 cash back, only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by Bud Light. There's a Bud Light there. LSU football's Tommy Moffitt is a legend in the strength and conditioning world, but right across the street here in the PMAC, LSU basketball strength and conditioning coach Greg Golden is blazing a trail of his own. So how does he keep his players fit for the court? Well, that all begins way before the season even tips off. Welcome to Boot Camp with Greg Golden and the Tigers. The background of boot camp is this. Um, coach came to me when we were at Chattanooga and he wanted something to kind of kick the season off. I had the guys majority of the off season and where I could kind of hand the keys over for the team and to make sure that they were ready. Kind of your key, your light of passage into practice. So 
uh, you're gonna make sure they're gonna make sure that you go through a lot of challenges, uh, all within a span of an hour and a half. But you know, you're at, you're at 100% the whole time. It's a great way to one build team camaraderie, two build some team toughness, and three see what you've got with guys. See how guys respond in adverse conditions and tough situations. So really what it was, was a series of conditioning tests that we used to do. And it's morphed into a little bit more than that as far as uh, we can call it some exaggerated team building over those three days with still some of those conditioning tests uh, put in. It gives us something that we can kind of draw on throughout the season. Um, when, when tough times hit, and they will, whether it's a close game or we're going into overtime or anything along those lines. It gives our guys and our, our staff and just our team in general and our whole program something that we can really put stock into where we've seen hard times before. We're looking at back at Missouri, um, when we beat Missouri, uh, we were down 14 with two minutes left and to come back and win that game and uh, you know, in overtime, that was one time that I really remember looking back and saying, okay, well, we're in this situation, but we've been, you know, had our back against the wall, uh, you know, before we even started practice, looking at boot camp. So uh, that's, a, that's a moment where you can look back and say, I've, I've seen tougher times. So uh, that kind of gives you the confidence to go into, go into games and finish games out the right way, uh, you know, with toughness and, and character. Really how we can put guys into adverse situations in a controlled setting before they get into an adverse situation in an uncontrolled setting like a game. This year, without question, was the best our team has been in boot camp. It was the best team I've had as a head coach in boot camp, the way they came together as a team, the way we became cohesive. I'm very, very excited about it being a big springboard for our season this year. is all up to you. The standards will be up to me. Mi amor. Mm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. With no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... It's looking kind of chilly out today. What am I going to wear? I think I'll go with... A cardigan. Yep. Even easier than that. And with a top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and 
it never tasted this good. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by Academy Sports and Outdoors. With curbside pickup, it's never been easier to shop in store or online at academy.com. What they did a great job in 2019 is they put playmakers in position to make plays. What you see is, is great skill. Uh, you see uh, a lot of talent up front, um, young talent all over the place. So there's just a lot of things to be encouraged about and what we're going to try and do is build off of 2019, learn the lessons from last year, and bringing a great product to the state of Louisiana. understand what's expected and we're going to put an exciting brand of football out there where we're going to put our great players out there in great positions to make plays. That was a brief look at the mission statement from LSU football's new offensive coordinator Jake Peets and new passing game coordinator DJ Mangus. As spring ball approaches be sure to tune in to Inside LSU Sports which airs each Wednesday night where we will keep fans up to date with what's happening on the gridiron. Coming up this week in LSU basketball, the Lady Tigers head to Missouri on Monday night before returning home to host South Carolina on Sunday. The men start the week off hosting Alabama on Tuesday night right here in the PMAC, and then they hit the road to face Kentucky and the Wildcats on Saturday night. As always, we'll have all the details and everything covered for you right here. So thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside LSU Basketball presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We'll see you next week. We've got to embrace the more difficult things. We do the pretty things really, really well. You guys understand that? Film is a good teacher outside of basketball. It really is.